to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This block is called Garden Path. It's 12 inch finished. This is a good way to use up your two and a half inch scraps or cut two and a half inch squares. Here's the diagram. We just have two sizes of squares and some rectangles. Here is what a quilt looks like. Set five blocks across and seven blocks down. And here are the patches. Patch A is a two inch finished square. We cut two and a half inch squares. We'll need 16 assorted accent fabrics and four background patches. In this sample, I'm going to use low volume prints. Patch B is a two inch by four inch finished rectangle. We cut four and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangles and we'll need four patches of the background fabric. And patch C is a four inch finished square. We cut four and a half inch squares and we'll need two for the background fabric. There are the AccuQuilt dies listed here that will cut all of these shapes. Here at the bottom I have fabric requirements for making this quilt, the 60 by 84, and it's done, you can either cut patches or you can strip piece. And I have strip piecing instructions on page two. These are just leftovers from the scrap bin, two and a half inch squares, and I have my two and a half inch low volume prints, and here are the rectangles and the larger squares. For step one, we're going to make two of these nine patch units. There are seven accent fabrics and two of the background fabrics in each of these nine patch units. So a nine patch is three across and three down and we'll lay out our accent fabrics like this. So we have seven pieces in the accent fabrics and then these two corners will have the background fabrics. So you'll piece this row together, then this row, and this row. Press your seams open and then sew the rows together and you'll make two like this. Here are the two nine patch units. We'll put those aside right now. You should have two of the accent two and a half inch squares left and we're going to use that for step two. We'll use the accent fabric and then the two of the rectangles and one of the large squares and we'll make this four patch unit. Take our accent square and two rectangles placed like this and then one of our large squares. Sew these two together, then these two. Press your seams open and then sew the two together and you'll make two units like this. And here are our two four patch units. If you prefer to do strip piecing for either or both of these units, page one has instructions for cutting the strips for this quilt here, the larger quilt. And then page two has the strip piecing instructions. This is for the nine patch unit and this is for the four patch unit. Now all we have to do is put these together. You'll start with the nine patch and you want to make sure that the background fabrics are in this position. And then one of these goes like this, the four patch. And the nine patch goes here. The same direction facing for the background. And then this one here. So let me turn this around a little bit different. Turn this around. That gives a little bit more variety here in the intersection. So now you just sew these two together and these two Press your seams and then sew the two rows together. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.